So in this video, I want to formulate uh, the minimum project completion time, or finding the minimum project completion time, as a linear programming problem, where we're starting at S and going to T. Okay? So, first of all, the objective function. I want to minimise whatever the final value is by the time I get to the final vertex, so T. So now for the constraints, so subject two. So we're going to take each of the vertices in turn. Uh, so let's start at A. So in order to complete, to get to A, I need to do the activity that is three hours long. Uh, so I need at least three hours in order to get to A. So A has got to be at least three. Now that's the only route going into A, so now we look at the next vertex, so let's go for B. Now B, um, now you'll notice that, oh, why, why am I not looking at S, okay, as one of the vertices? Well, the value of S is zero, okay? So you could have S is greater than or equal to zero, okay? But we know it's going to be zero anyway at S. And so when I'm doing this, I'm doing A is greater than or equal to 3 plus 0, the value that's S. So there's no point in putting plus 0 on there. OK, so for B, it's going to be 5. So at least 5 hours need to, um, needs to complete that activity there. And we've also got, for B, this route coming in from C. So we're going to need 4 plus whatever value is at C. Okay? Right. Then, uh, let's look at vertex C. Okay, because we've looked at both routes going into B. So now for C. So the only route going into C is this one here. So C must be 8 plus whatever value is at A. Right, now for D. Now, D must be uh, at least 2 plus whatever is at A. And D must be at least 6 plus whatever is at C. Now, for E, that must be at least 7 plus whatever is at D. And 9 plus whatever is at C. Right, so we've exhausted all those, and then finally we've got T. Now T must be at least 3 plus whatever is at B, and 10 plus whatever is at E. Now these inequalities here are not written in standard form, so I would then rewrite these as B take away C is going to equal to 4, C take away A is greater than or equal to 8. D take away A is greater than or equal to 2. D take away C is greater than or equal to 6. E take away D is greater than or equal to 7. E take away C is greater than or equal to 9. T take away B is greater than or equal to 3. And T take away E is greater than or equal to 10. Okay, and so that is my linear programming problem.